Okay, I'm back and I wanted to do a quick uh, first impressions and unboxing of the new fine woven case for the 15 series of iPhones from Apple. And I have mine in the 15 Pro Max variant because that is the one that I pre-ordered and this is in the evergreen color. I also have the taupe color on order from Amazon that should arrive this weekend. Uh, but I wanted to see what the fine woven case looks like. Uh, unfortunately, there are no more leather cases this year. I am a big fan of Apple's uh, leather cases. Uh, since the 12, uh, the cases have not been as nice as they have been in the past. Um, my you know, 12, 13, and now with my 14 Pro, you can see the patina only happens mostly along the edges with a little bit of darkening on the rest of the phone. This case I've used for most of this past year alongside the Peak Design case that I reviewed. Uh, I'll leave links to both of these. Uh, in the description, the Peak Design case I've used for a few months also, and it still looks brand new to me. This is um, kind of low-key, one of my favorite cases, and I'm looking forward to maybe getting that for the 15 series also. So, uh, unfortunately, no more leather, you know, um, but let's see what the fine woven case looks like. And unfortunately, um, I've already seen some YouTube videos. Let me do this off screen. I've already seen some YouTube videos. Uh, I kind of had to demolish the box to get it out of there, but um, showing that the durability of the fine woven cases are not that great. Um, in the box, you get your usual papers and tings, and uh, that's it, pretty simple packaging. So this is the evergreen color. Um, you know, I will say the color is very nice. Apple's website, all of the colors, I feel like they look a little bit lighter than they actually do in person. Uh, let me see if I bump up the exposure a bit over here. So um, it is a nice deep green color and on first impression it does feel nice. The fine woven material on the back has a soft uh, kind of um, Alcantara, maybe um, maybe kind of a suede but uh, not as fuzzy but it does have kind of a soft fuzziness. The side material is a different material, so you can see there's a seam over there. And the side material is also kind of grippy with a little bit of texture, uh, but it's not like a plastic or a TPU. So it's a pretty handsome case. Uh, my first impression actually is pretty good about the case. Um, let me see if I can come in a little bit closer to show the texture, if I can get that without it getting too blurry or blocked by a shadow. Um, that is pretty nice and when you see it off angle you can kind of see that it looks a little bit fuzzy and it does feel good in the hand. Uh, it definitely does feel good in the hand. Um, here it is compared to the Peak Design in Sage. You can see kind of the color and the Peak Design you can see is a little bit taller because they have a cutout on the bottom to be able to put a lanyard so the bottom edge of the Peak Design case is a little bit thicker. Let's see how the dimensions compare to the 14 Pro Max leather case because I know the new 15 Pro Max is a little bit shorter and narrower by like a millimeter. Um, right now in the hand I feel like I can kind of tell that this phone phone case is a little bit easier to grip. Uh, the first impression of the case is good. The side material has a little bit of texture and grippiness. The buttons look to be aluminum and they uh, are free floating it looks like, yep. So they should be really nice and clicky, especially this action button. I don't know if you can see but um, it's kind of just floating in there so uh, it looks like it'll be nice and clicky. Same with the power button. The inside material is uh, feels similar to the outside material. Whereas in previous leather cases and the silicone cases, they use kind of a felt lining on the inside. So um, I think on the inside, it's just as protective as it'll always be. These cases, of course, are not super thick and uh, you know military grade drop protection or anything like that. Uh, they're meant to be as slim as possible while offering protection. Um, so first impressions are good for the case, but I have seen videos where <laughs> They have shown that if you scratch the surface of this fine woven, I'm not sure that I'll do it on mine. Maybe I'll do it up here or something. Uh, I'm, I, I kind of don't want to because the case looks so good out of the box on its own. But um, 
the fine woven material will pick up scratches and not uh, be able to wipe away, you know, so it might not patina as nicely as, as leather. You can hear that there's a, a fine texture there. Same on the side. And I've also seen that um, the fine woven material itself is pretty thin with the little backing underneath to add a little bit of cushion, which I can feel under my finger. The material depresses in ever so slightly. Um, but that's a first look at the Evergreen fine woven case. Uh, pretty handsome case. Of course, I don't have a phone to put it in yet. Uh, I have my iPhone 15 Pro on pre-order. The previous phone, uh, looks like I can kind of slide it in there a little bit. No, that is definitely not going to go in. So the dimensions are just big enough. The change in dimension is just big enough that the cases won't be cross compatible. Uh, but yeah, it is a nice case. It does feel nice in the hand, which, which is, like I said, one of my favorite things about the leather cases are how it feels organic and kind of warm in the hand compared to plastic and TPU cases. So in that sense, I think Apple did a good job. This fine woven material on the back, this fabric, you know, mix of nylon and textiles, whatever it is, and the material on the side, which is not a TPU, it has a little bit of texture and a slight tackiness to it, a little bit of rubberiness to it. In the hand, that actually feels good. That does feel good, so kudos to Apple on that. But again, based on what I've seen about the durability of the, ca of the case, that if it gets scratches, um, I'm not very confident that it's gonna do so well. So I'm in the market looking out for a leather alternative to the Apple leather cases, because um, as we know, they've gotten rid of it along with all their Apple leather products, you know, like I, I have the leather watch strap. Um, you know, as part of their climate initiative. But, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert in that field. A company of Apple scale, of course, they make millions of phones and, you know, presumably millions of Apple, uh, millions of leather cases. At that scale, if you reduce the amount of leather that you're using, does it have an impact on the climate? Possibly, but leather is also an organic material that's biodegradable. You know, if they're using textiles and plastics and, you know, synthetic materials here, uh, I'm not sure if it's actually better for the environment, but be that as it may, this is what we have. And um, yeah, despite, you know, kind of uh, me sounding negative on them not having leather cases anymore, I will say that the uh, fine woven case does feel good in the hand. It has a nice soft feeling. Uh, and I think that I would like using this case and, you know, it might age well, who knows? I mean, we're gonna have to wait and see, but um, there are some YouTube videos that you can check out, particularly uh, Mobile Tech Reviews, uh, Mobile Tech Review A. He has a great video where he shows just using his finger scratching this case, and he also tears it apart so you can see what the materials are made of, and um, it's kind of discouraging to see. Um, of course, no case is gonna look new forever. In that sense, I will say that Peak Design has done a great job with theirs. You know, their case material is also some kind of, um, nylon something nylon cordura something like that is similar material that they use on some of their bags and i've used this this case has gotten soaked soaking wet in a caves in in mexico i've taken it all over and i've used this case maybe for three months uh, and it looks brand new so i'm very impressed with the peak design case probably one of my favorite cases after the leather apple case i've been very happy with these two cases over the past year so uh, we'll see We'll see how the fine woven case does. Uh, so that's my first impression and first look. I hope that helps some of you out there and uh, thanks for watching.